For the past four years, I've chosen to follow counsel and guidance that has led me into a dark delusion. My distorted version of reality went largely unchecked as I would isolate from anyone who challenged me. I was led to believe that this world was an evil place, filled with cops who control, hospitals that injure, government agencies that brainwash, church leaders who lie and lust, husbands who refuse to protect, and children who need abuse. My choice to believe and behave this paranoia culminated into criminal activity for which I stand before you today ready to take accountability. To leave the house clean and my kids are literally starving. I hesitate to say this because it's going to sound like I'm like a mean barbarian, but I told the kids, I said, I'm not even going to let you eat breakfast <laughs> until you get your chores done. And so she woke up this morning and she's like, Mom, my vision is really blurry, like more blurry than it usually is. Kevin just came in and he's like, I think we need to take Sherry to the emergency room. I said, well, let me take a shower and then I'll be out. <laughs> it's, been, it's been an hour, so. Because I really won't get anything for summer. I won't be able to go anywhere. No, I don't have any friends. No iPads, no TV, no. Mom, can you give me some breakfast? You don't need food. Ready to tell you this, honey, but... Unless you find a friend who's willing to share some of their food with you, I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to eat. But if you're not responsible for your lunch and your lunch money, that's the natural consequence. And I'm really sorry you're learning this the hard way. I will have a wonderful, yummy snack. Just hang in there today and, and just make, it, make up your mind. You're going to be really careful and make sure you grab your stuff when you go to school next time. And maybe you have a, a good friend who will share some of their sandwich with you or something. Russell, I'm really sorry. He sounded like... He was going to cry. There's nothing to eat? Yeah, I need to go to the store. Stop. Just stop. It's true. Just stop. No, that is not Go true. Can you see all the food going on in the kitchen today? I am going to the grocery store this time. Go wing. We are going to a movie, so go get on your shoes. What is it? What? Does it even matter? If someone asked me if I wanted to go to a movie, I wouldn't ask what is it. Run and get your shoes or you're gonna not go. Hurry! Everyone run. Hey, this is Ruby. I was wondering, is Brooke available to babysit? Sorry. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. What a good idea for spring break. Um, I'm really sorry. Well good, I will call her again. Tell her I will call her again. Sure. Okay, have fun. Uh huh. Um, I am not taking Eve, babe, Eve, unless you come and give me a huge apology. You come give me a hug and you come say you're sorry. No, again, where I can pay attention. It was not very thankful of you. I was excited and I told you to go get on your shoes and your jacket to see a movie. And you should say, okay, and be grateful. Instead of, well, what movie? Well, I don't know. Let me think about it. That's not very grateful. And I'm not going to take a girl who's not grateful. Can you show some more gratitude? Okay, give me a big hug. Go get a jacket. It'll be a little chilly. Thanks for inviting me to the uh, movie. Oh, I'm glad you had a change. I'm going to go get dressed for football. Um, you're going to have to go find your shorts. Oh, did you see the socks you threw at the side of the garden? And you are not going anywhere unless you pick up your junk. You've got crap thrown all around. Now, so you see, now I'm using bad language. That's how bad of a mood I'm in. You get your socks picked up and don't you leave your stuff out anymore. Where? Right oh. over there. Run and go pick them up. And then give me 10 push-ups. Okay. Put them in your pockets so you can take them down to the hamper and drop and give me 10. One. Put your hands straight out. They're in. They're not supposed to be out. Shape your hands forward. There you go. One, two. two. Down further. Bring your butt down. Ooh. I'm only going to say it one more time and then you're going to lose the privilege to eat. You're going to lose the privilege to eat. You don't need food. My kids are literally starving. 
not under any circumstance go into the kitchen. Hopefully nobody gives her food. And <laughs> Once you hit 99 pounds, you don't need any suckers anymore. You're too old. You're too big. Uh, there's nothing to eat. Yeah, I need to go to the store. Stop. Just stop. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Look at me. No. No, you look at me. Look at mama. If you cut one more thing in my house, head off. <laughs> I'm going to take the scissors, look at me, and I'm going to cut its head off. God, I will be so mad. So what are you going to do? Are you going to cut anything else? No. So up until now, I was really hoping that like, keeping them home from school and wiping the floorboards would like really bring pain. Like, like, oh my gosh, I really want to change this behavior that I've been exhibiting. <clears throat> and it didn't, it didn't, they, like, it wasn't painful for them. They're like, oh yeah, we get to stay home from school and clean floorboards. This is kind of fun. It was like, ah. Program mm -hmm. where he's going to spend the next eight to 10 weeks living in the- um, Anasazi Desert. Yeah, the desert mountains of Arizona. And he'll be out. So you're probably wondering, what did Chad do? What did, okay, let's, we're not even going to entertain that stuff, but it's, it's an accumulation of things over years. Okay. Okay, what happened? It's okay. Everyone's safe. It's okay. We should have been in that crash. Honey, are you okay? I thought you went with your brothers and sisters. I didn't know you were still in here. No, I have no friends. You can play with friends. No, like I don't have friends. I don't have friends either. I feel about not having any friends. Sucks, but I don't feel safe or accepted in any friend group, so. That's really vulnerable of you to say that on camera. Today, and can I bring a lunch over to the school? This happens quite often when you're having raising children um, because I know that her teacher is uncomfortable with her being hungry and not having a lunch. And it would ease her discomfort if I came to the school with a lunch. Um, but I, I responded and just said, Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning and she actually told me she did pack a lunch. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. And hopefully, hopefully nobody gives her food and nobody steps in and gives her a lunch. When, so in our house, we when we take something away, it's because they have shown that they are not responsible enough to manage it. And so we don't just turn around and give it back as soon as they start acting good. It has we, to be consistent. It has to be consistent over a minimum, minimum of six months. And that's showing up consistent in every aspect that's, of their life. That's a new rule. That's a new rule. Oh wait, just. A minimum of six months. Good have I ever goodness. given something back more than six, less than six months? Um. I thought my phone no. like My bedroom was taken away for seven months and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think our viewers know that. You would be on a beanbag. I'm sleeping on a beanbag since October. <laughs> my kids are not welcome to come live with me after they're 18. I am very straightforward about that. This year they are not going to be visited by Santa. So they will, and we prepped them, we, we let them know that the Christmas morning, their four older siblings will be getting Christmas presents to open and that they will have the gift of love from their dad and I. 